And uh, then they finally pulled the bros off and uh, unaided, I staggered to my feet. <laughs> Your most loyal minister. <laughs> and as I said on the day at breakfast, I would have taken the bullet that day. <laughs> minister English, Tariana and I have a loving relationship with the Deputy Prime Minister Bill English. We love both him and his cupboards full of money. <laughs> Minister English made an unreasonable assumption about us. He said, we came to our meetings armed with psychological tactics to relieve him of some of his puta, his money. He said, Tariana attacks first, leads the charge, bombards him with statistics and surveys about Maori community's needs. She goes on and on until he feels guilty or afraid. And after some time, out comes the checkbook. Just take a note of that formula. Then he says, I follow on with my magnetic charm, <laughs> making him feel relaxed and comfortable, and ask after how's his wife and children, his sore back, is it getting better? Compliments his aroha ki te iwi Māori, and boom, out comes the checkbook a second time. <laughs> well, that's his story. I don't think it quite goes like that, but uh, thank you for all the assistance you've given uh, our projects that we've put before you. Minister Finlayson, we received our ministerial portfolios in November, December 2008. That Christmas summer holidays, uh, Mr Finlayson was out amongst uh, the iwi of New Zealand making initial contacts, before Christmas, before dinner. And uh, we just got appointed, and he was out doing settlements, assessments over treaty settlement issues. He probably had Christmas breakfast at Ruatoki, lunch at Mohaka, and Christmas pudding in the Hokianga. Your relationship with Iwi is always rangatira ki rangatira, and you lead and inspire uh, your field teams with the same dignity and myself and Tari as well. Thank you, Minister, and thank you also for your Māori affairs work on freeing up the Māori land for production. I'm waiting. Okay, no. Hekia. She comes from that tribe where kahore te kumara e kōrurumotona kareka does not apply. <laughs> In fact, it's almost compulsory in that tribe <laughs> to talk about yourself. <laughs> but she's the only minister to kranga and porfiri me into her meetings that we have every week, singing hi de moi da hi, or some Ngāti pro song that <laughs> has about eight verses or something. <laughs> As a minister, Hekia is strong. She has inherited enormous projects like the fronting for Nova Pay, Tobacco, the school's earthquake, recovery in Christchurch, Kohanga Reo Trust difficulties, and a large uh, education portfolio gen generally. I think she's mean Māori mean. <laughs> and is a great example of two Māori mai. Kia ora. <laughs> and just the last one. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge Nick, Nick Smith, Tenakwe Nick, Tenoho Kwe Kiao, Ienei Tauku Pahruake. Thank you for your friendship and for educating me on climate change, how you sell nothing for something, or is it something for nothing? <laughs> <laughs> I've got that one worked out. <laughs> anyway, you always made time to explain stuff for me, particularly in the ICT world as well. Ki ngā mema pare mata i mahi tahi i āhau tēnā kūtu. Uh, everybody and the speakers in this house, thank you very much. Tari and Tūruro, I'd like to acknowledge my companion MPs Tariana and Tūruro. For a decade we have worked together, lived together, creating a Māori presence in the house, in, in our committees and in our ministerial and in our leadership roles. One day Tari and I were having a scrap in the, in the, in the caucus and uh, she was getting really vocal, and I was sort of being cool, you know, like that. <laughs> and we both looked uh, at our president, Fatarang. Fatarang? And he goes, ah, yes. Tariana is showing Rangatira Tanga. She's leading out and being strong about her project. Peter? He's showing Manaki Tanga, caring and so on, and like this. We're looking at each other so. Then he goes, what we really need here is kotahi taka. <laughs> <laughs> because that's the kaupapa we had to accept that. And so, and so, so we got on. 
Um, we've had a good relationship. Hey, my bro, where is he? The back taking my seat. He's the only MP that goes out on the road with two right shoes. <laughs> and we get to the whare and he goes, take your shoes off. Now they said, leave them on. No, take them off, because he had two right shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that. We have followed the advice of the late Colonel Sir James Henare, who said to the Māori Battalion when they arrived back uh, from the war, he said, uh, go home to your marae, go home to your mountain, go home to your river, go home to your land, go home to your whānau. Engari ngā wākato, but at all times, tu Māori mai. Remember, and that applies to anyone, not just Māori. Be strong, be, be yourself, and carry on and change the world. So thank you very much. I've gone over time, but it's been a real honour to work with these two and to live with these two over the time. I'd just uh, like to, to abuse the sister. Well, I've got a lot of mokopuna. They're all here downstairs, I guess. But I've got one great mokopuna. It's uh, one now. And his name is Kanohi Tuhanga. And I want to speak to him now. E moko. In 30 years, you can become the new co-leader of the Māori Party. You'll have more than 20 Māori caucus members in deciding which ones should be in the House of Representatives in Parliament and which ones should be in the Upper Treaty Senate, which 30 years ago began with our constitutional review. Moko, in 30 years' time, you'll be dealing with a super ministry called Whanauora. In my time, they had separate ministries, social development, education, employment, and so on. Moko, in 30 years' time, you'll be dealing with these CEOs of Māori statutory boards all around the country. In my time, we had to have a hikoi, had to have lots of hui, a scrap and cabinet to get the first one up and running in Auckland. In 30 years' time, you'll be dealing with the minister for the rights of indigenous peoples uh, negotiations. Yes, that's right. That's the one that replaced the Minister of Treaty Settlement negotiations after all the settlements were completed. In my time, when we got the declaration signed, they said it wouldn't mean anything. Oh, by the way, that's what they said about the treaty as well. Moko, in 30 years' time, you'll be dealing with all the whare oranga ake units that have been created Back in my time, they were called prisons and didn't provide any rehabilitation programs. Oh, yes, Moko, keep up with your English language because in 30 years' time, Te Reo Māori will be the official language of New Zealand. <laughs> Spoken by all. <laughs> and so, Moko Puna, grow strong. You have much to do. Tēnā tata.
Honourable Members, I call on the Honourable Tariana Turia to make her valid.